Okay, so welcome back to more of the Wolf Among Us episode 2. We're going to do the uh, achievement. It's called the Prentice Librarian. Yeah, that's Prentice Librarian. Um, bit of annoying. You won't have noticed by now, but uh, I just record this and then I just turn to turn off my recording. And I haven't turned on my fucking microphone, so I'm going to have to record this again. I'll do it tomorrow, the 9th. I'll just do it then, first thing. Um, but I'm going to do this Apprentice Librarian thing now. And what you got to do is you got to go in here. Uh, okay. I'll just save over this one, I guess. Yeah. You gotta do this one, and this time you're not allowed to hit the guy at all during the interrogation thing. So, we won't do that. And then we just gotta grab Blue Bluebeard when he comes in to, you know, stop him. So, we'll do that. And then the other one is on chapter 3. You gotta speak to Toad first, so we'll do that as well. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Yeah, I'm not going to give any spoilers, just in case you haven't seen Hello, it. Hello, just... Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. <laughs> Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill him. Oh, yeah. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. I know you're up to something. What is it? Well, right now I'm sitting here having a laugh. But, <laughs> big picture, I'm planning on buying a new hat. Maybe one with polka dots. I'm not <laughs> fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Oh, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Not yet. Come on, Big B. We both know this isn't going anywhere. What is it now, Big B? <laughs> Look, I know it's unpleasant. You don't want to be here, right? Well, I think I said that make things last time. For you. I just need you to cooperate. Once you've answered my questions, I'll let you go. That be your epic, by the way. Strapped to a chair. Just tell me what you're up to. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? That face. I say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Yeah, we're gonna look at it this time. I may have looked at it, but where well, on the previous one, as you might see, I don't know. But I haven't uh, recorded it yet as of recording. This oh, so we'll have him going in circles. He's That's getting de somewhere. It's definitely that guy. Definitely his voice. Just carry this around. Always handy that way. Oh, don't smash him. Although I would like to see it, but no, we're not going to do that. I'm not sure this is really working. Let's <laughs> see where this goes. Ah. 
It couldn't hurt, I guess. to those girls, to Snow White. <sighs> Let me handle this. Let's... So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment, that's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. <laughs> All right, Dean. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Okay, what you, you got know, then? If you wanted to have a drink with me, we could have met at the trip trap. <laughs> I'll you take always this. carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Oh. Um, I'll get that back. Maybe I'll just put it down, just so... Fucking... Uh, just in case. Cause you might punch him or something. If I take it. Look at me, like, he wants to sniff it. He wants to, like, lick it or something. That face. <laughs> Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss? What if his boss is Georgie Porgy? So let's talk about your boss then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. It's the cigar. Myron. I'm saving that. Not now. Maybe I'll give him a puff. Burns he really, what's the point of this? Let's blow smoke. Why should you like smoking? Real nice. You can breathe in. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. Oh. There's no way Beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. She must have met him. This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, no. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay right, this is what we got to do. Stop this right now. You enjoying yourself. Immensely. Oh, fuck. Come on then, bro. Booyah! This isn't you. I didn't know this happened. Here we go, here we go! Landing, 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 landing! Fuck, not quick enough. Oh! What's going on down here? Snow. Is that how it happened last time? The first time? I can't remember. Like the way I did it. Hmm. I can't remember. It was something similar to that. Where she just appeared out of nowhere. So when you see it, when you'll have seen it, my, my reaction might be kind of shitty. Because I mean...
it, it won't be as real. It's like the first time when I seen her, I was like, no way, no, I couldn't believe it. I was like, just going crazy. I couldn't believe it was her. That was, it was really crazy. And the ending, which you'll see, which you'll have seen, um, oh my god, the ending was a fucking shocker as well. Okay, Nickabod. He's the fucking one that killed her. Killed Lily. I couldn't believe it. I was pretty wild when I first did it as well. So, my reaction might be kind of fakey. I'll maybe try. Maybe try a bit of acting. Maybe put myself into the acting world, if you will. Maybe somebody will hire me. Become a famous actor. Obviously not going to happen, but, you know, I'll try my best to make it good. So we're on this fucking Paris tonight. Right, it's this one as well, where we got to go to the thing. Speak to... What's his name? Toad. I can't remember. Is, did she pee at the, the door? I can't remember. Could be. Abusing a prisoner like that. I yeah. thought you could control yourself. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but... Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. That's true. This time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Where the hell have you been, Snow? Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you. Or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow. What is it? I'd like to talk to TJ about what he saw. I thought you would. He's waiting upstairs. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because that's what my job is right now. I'm the sheriff, Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know you got angry, Snow. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I no, can I love take you, care right? of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. What? Just be nice, okay? I'm always nice. <laughs> I'll go about it differently this time. That's what I did there with the questions. I did different ones I did the first time I recorded. I was just so annoyed when I, when I just turned around to stop recording and then I seen it, the fucking microphone wasn't on. I was like, oh, you fucking son of a...
damage. I wasn't too annoyed though, I mean, because it was, it was, I don't mind having to do it again because it was really good, but just like my reactions and stuff, just not going to be the same. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. And there's Buffkin. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Of course, Miss Snow. I'm Buffkin, the flying green man, monkey. Oh, Ooh. that's enough. Amira, vanish, cancel. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Bigby? We'll talk about this later. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, fuck's sake, give me a break, you fucking froggy it's bastard. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> My face. Ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. I promise. Oh, she weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. We'll talk about that later. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. That's what, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady. <laughs> It's okay, son. Hurry up. <laughs> Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. If someone saw you... You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. I think it's the same as the last same time. words they used. Stop laughing. Try to remember exactly what they said. They said, they said, stop laughing at me. Sheriff. Do you know whose voice it was? No. Bigby, he's frightened. Did you hear anything else? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. 
Oh, we'll let him go this time. Okay. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Come on, then. <laughs> That went about as well as I expected. <clears throat> you want to go look at the body now? This is the part where we say no. In a minute. We got ready. We got to speak to the mirror now, and then you should get the achievement. It's really as easy as that. Magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Hey, mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Uh, what were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Hey, I'm not done here. And there you have a look achievement. But I want to see more. I want to see more. What's this? The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Ah, good. Well, that's helpful. He's like in a it looks somewhat like a cage. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, he's in a car. Hmm. Oh well. That was it. Well, there it is. It's the apprentice thing. It took a little while just to get through everything. I could edit it down, but I probably won't. Just because I clicked on different stuff. Um, oh yeah, the Book of Fables. Have a look at that. So, this is what you unlock. Just two. Bluebeard. This thing. It says... I'll oh, just check my microphone. It is on. So, that's good. Bluebeard's Mercy. Bluebeard's Last Wife. After a long line of marriages resulting in mysterious disappearances, Bluebeard's last wife in the homelands was naturally suspicious of him. One day he departed on business, leaving her alone in his estate. He gave her free reign of all the rooms, made her promise not to open the closet on the ground floor. She defied him, of course, and discovered the location of his missing wives. Oh, fuck. Uh, when Bluebeard returned, he knew he must kill her before she re reeled his murderous secret. She persuaded him to allow her a moment to pray, which he reluctantly granted. The small mercy gave her brothers time to arrive and rescue her, and Bluebeard's crimes were exposed. So how the hell is he a policeman? Fuck's sake. After that shit. Magic mirror. The magic mirror. Magic mirror. The magic mirror speaks mostly in rhyme and demands that others do the same. He also requires the name of whatever object or person you wish to find. If you follow these rules, the mirror will show you a glimpse of whatever you want to see, but nothing more. Yeah, it's kind of mysterious in that way. But that is it now. Well, for you who's watching, but I've got to go and record everything you, that you'll have seen if you follow the series. So it's, it's kind of weird, but you know, I'm sure you understand. But that's it. Uh, um, as I said, looking forward to the next one, the next episode. I hope it releases pretty soon. Don't know if you can tell my voice is a bit weird. Kind of had a bit of a cold. A little bit. Not too bad, but it's kind of annoying. Sore of throat and that. Sore of chest. It's sort of healing up now. It only lasted about a week. But that's about it now. That's it. The Wolf Among Us episode 2. Done. And I'm hoping for episode 3 pretty soon. So, uh, thank you for watching. I don't know. It's frozen here. It's very bad for like freezing and frame rates and shit. Oh, what's this? Player choices.
What the fuck is this? This is the first episode. Uh, okay. Oh, that's the new one, is it? Yeah. Alright, cool. Righty. Uh, I think I need just... I'm sure I'll remember when I cut... Oh, no, I better not, actually. Yeah, change save file. Let's go back to this one. Uh, actually, wait. Maybe I'll just do it when I come back. Change save file here. And that should have everything. Yeah, it does. Okay, well there it is, that's it. You never know, I might in the future come back to The Wolf Among Us, like when it's all done and do the opposite choices. Maybe. Doubtful, but you never know. It is really doubtful, because there have so many other stuff to do. Um, but yeah, that's it now. Crooked Mile. That'll be when we've seen him in the car, I think. We'll maybe have to chase him. Obviously, Bluebeard might have something to do with it. Him and Hickabod might be conspiring together. And then... Maybe Big B just gets pissed off, goes and a wolf, kills everybody. That could happen. But I'm interested to see what happens next time. Because I maybe oh no, maybe fucking Tweedledee and that are working for Ichabod. That could be what's happening, I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out. But that's it, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed. And also feel free to smash that like button. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.